In this video we're going to assemble the Wi-Fi board. Um, I'm shipping it pre-flashed but without the headers um, to avoid any damage in the mail. Um, the assembly is quite easy. Um, we're just going to assemble the long headers here like this. Um, then there is a four port header that goes on the same side as RXTX. So and then there is a uh, growth port, a 90 degree growth port that goes here. Cool. Um, well, let's start the assembly. Um, so now e everything is in place. So remember, this is the way to mount it. Here, RX on the RXTX side, you mount the four uh, uh, port header and on the other side is the growth port. Let's start with the lowest component first and fix the growth port. My iron is at about uh, 330 degrees, which uh, seems to work fine for uh, most of the applications. Okay, um, preheating here and then adding solder and it's really easy. It starts flowing and you can see it's a very nice flowing shiny connection. Let's do the other ones. Now let's uh, connect the other ports here. Female headers like this and then connect the first um, leg. Nice and flowy. Let's do the other one now or at least one leg of the other one. Okay. So this one is um, fixed too, it's not perfectly straight, so let's straighten it. So once both are nicely aligned and straightened, it's time to do uh, the other, um, it, what's it, uh, 14 contacts. So that goes pretty fast. Preheat, add the solder. Preheat at the solder. Okay, so now all of them are uh, connected with a nice and shiny um, drop of. Uh, solder. Um, let's do the last one here. Okay, checking the alignment. Seems to be okay. Let's do the other ones. Okay, so now the board is ready here and um, we can, um, so everything is solid, connected. 
and uh, we can use it with the um, distance sensor breakout board if you if all the holes align well now so you can see um, ground and 3 volts takes these two holes and then here are rx and tx and the motor uh, breakout pins are just open um, however you want to connect them um, you could also leave this one away and in this situation you can also connect to your um, spike prime or robot inventor hub using the other breakout board like this it slides onto the um, uh, twice uh, eight uh, eight um, pin headers here female and you can also use this kind of wire so this goes into the six port here and this breakout board uh, connects to your EV3 and it breaks out another I squared C connector which is the same as that one um, if you want to add more I squared C devices so that's it um, that's how to mount and solder this Wi-Fi I squared C um, ESP8266 breakout board for all your Lego custom electronics experiments. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.